Okay, just start whenever I want. Okay. Alrighty. Hello, I'm Diane Kerr, Head of Boarding at Clayfield College. I've been here for eight years now. Um, I've worked in boarding for about 16 years and Clayfield was my school of choice. At the time that I came here, um, there were other schools who were advertising, uh, but Clayfield was somewhere I'd always wanted to work. And since I've been here, I've been given the opportunity to do the things that I always wanted to do in boarding. So we've made here as family an environment as we possibly can. The idea here at Clayfield is to make it a fun and happy family environment as much as possible. And being a small school, uh, we know the girls intimately. It, it makes it a much cosier environment here when you know everything about the girls and you can help them in any way possible. When I first came to look at it, it was like really good and like looked lots of fun. Um, mine were like I was really excited to come and start a new school and make new friends and have all the new opportunities. You just get so lost. Yeah, I couldn't find dining room. <laughs> <laughs> the most important place. It was a little bit scary at the beginning, but there were so many like older girls who always helped me. When I first walked through, I came through the school up to the boarding house and I thought it was massive because they had three story buildings. But then I found out that the entire school was smaller than my grade 8 class in Mackay and I couldn't believe that the school was so small but there were so many boarders. It was like having a massive family sleepover. I was like obsessed with the boarding house. Like I had like done all my research, I went on the website all the time, the downloaded tour. the boarders handbook, did the tour twice actually. <laughs> I'm really close with a lot of the day girls but like it's really good to have like your boarding friends still because they like more like sisters. Yeah, and it's good because like they can take you out. God, this want to be us. We're just too good. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's like good just having friends around the clock yeah, to well, hang with. I know some day girls say, oh, I wish I was a boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are better. Extra bad. <laughs> <laughs> Things like when we do our assignments and stuff, and it'd just be all of us congregating in the yeah. hall to like get our assignments done last minute, and the day girls would be by themselves at home messaging everyone, like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Yeah. And we just always have each other. Probably when we went to Wet n Wild or when we went to a social. I feel like over the years I've just made so many that it's like they're all really good. Um, the Wet n Wild trips. Yeah. They're pretty fun and like just being around with your friends. It's a lot of memories. If you make so many, it's hard to Yeah, keep you do make a lot. I love the boarding sleepovers. Yeah. They're good fun. I like the Outback camp in grade 6. Grade 12 as a boarder, we got to have dinner with Nettie, who is the principal, and Granny Franny, her godmother. Uh, and it would be just a handful of boarding uh, grade 12s and you get to see a side of the principal that everybody else in the school didn't get. My favourite memories are in the little things, like um, like themed dinners when we yeah. like all dress up together. Oh, everybody wrote songs about their experiences at boarding school and having been at weddings through the years since then, uh, we will still sing our boarding song uh, that we knew back then. Getting a new family table is always exciting. Mm. So. <laughs> yeah. Come in with like a fresh mind, be confident. You may struggle at first, but it yeah, it turns out good. So it's nice having all your friends there. And like, if you need any help, just ask all the older girls, and like, don't be afraid of all the like older girls because they're like really nice. And it's worth it. Like, you come here, you make good memories, new friends, and new experiences. Like it seems, it seems really hard at first. Yeah, like you'll get used but to it. But yeah, <laughs> it's not that hard in the end. Yeah, it's good to like talk about yeah. home instead of just like sitting there silently. Get involved, be involved in sports and the extracurricular activities, be it choir or music or art or something else, just get involved with the school. Uh, the quicker that you get involved, the more friends you'll make, the more comfortable you'll feel. Having your sisters here? Yeah. They let us have our own dunas on our beds, which was a progressive thing in the 80s. They previously hadn't let it do that. The school's still very friendly. It's definitely the small school with a big heart. 
and the girls are welcoming and really respectful of everyone around them. Yeah, it hasn't changed that much. I came because my mum came like years and years ago. At the time, Dad and I were living in Papua New Guinea, so there wasn't very good education there, so he decided to send me to boarding school. Our family friends were here from the start, so that's why we chose. Well, I grew up in Kananara and the school there wasn't exactly, didn't have the, as many opportunities as Clayfield had to offer. There was one girl from our town that was at Clayfield, so Clayfield was the one that I came to. We lacked the like close-knit, I guess, like family environment, sort of, because there's such a small boarding house compared to like Somerville and Maggie's. Uh, I think it's probably made all the difference. Um, obviously when you are living thousands of kilometres away from home or hundreds of kilometres you have to be quite independent. Things still go wrong but you haven't got mum or dad there to sort it out so you become very resilient, very independent and you also have to be pretty friendly because everywhere you go you're making new friends. Uh, when I came here I barely knew anybody in Brisbane, let alone anyone at the school, so it was definitely in the deep end and that's taught me that no matter where I go in the world, yeah, put your hand out and introduce yourself with a smile and you can get away with everything, so it's alright. Good. I love Clayford community because it's good size and we all know each other. I think just how small it is, like it doesn't need to be huge. Yeah, like yeah. you would know everyone in your grade yeah. and even other grades, which is good. How small it is, I think that's what makes Clayfield unique to other boarding schools. Because we were so small, you got to know everyone, so you keep in touch with those girls because you know what their interests were and where they wanted to go in life. I could definitely call any one of my good friends in boarding school if I was ever in trouble and know that yeah, they would definitely. I think it's far more casual than what it was in our day. You weren't we could go for weeks on end never leaving the boarding house unless you went to a sporting activity. We weren't allowed to go down to the shops or anything like that, so it was really, really strict. So there was lots of funny little rules. You weren't allowed to wash your hair unless it was on Tuesday and a Thursday, I think, from memory. And it just seems to be very, very casual these days. So, and the food is unbelievable. It's real food. From what I can see, the girls are just as close these days. They just probably have a better interconnection with the world around them, as well as the experience that they have at school, whereas we were fairly isolated to everything that was going on. Hi, my name's Cass Gundry. I'm originally from Kilcoy, Queensland, and I was a boarder at Clayfield College from 2003 to 2007. I got to experience both the old and the new boarding house, and I've got to say it was quite the upgrade. I don't believe I'd be sitting here if it wasn't for my experience at Clayfield College. It helped shape who I am. Congratulations on 80 years of boarding. Unfortunately, I can't be there today because I'm working on set in LA, but I hope to see you all soon. Boarding's really fun and you should all board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. It's just having like a hundred plus sisters always there if you ever needed your hair done or any help with homework or anything like that, you always had someone that was there. Didn't feel like like scared to go and see them because you live with them. They they are your sisters. I'll I'll really miss this place. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>